support us here, go to PayPal at themillings at gmail.com. For those of you with ticket citations, mortgages, foreclosures, child support cases, and for those of you with student loans, auto loans, warrants, and for those of you having to see an agent doing business parole, parole officer, as well as those of you in for non-violent offenses, you can email us for the GSA templates, those bonds to set off, set off, set off the matter. And then email us for the, you can also email us for the 1099 OID. They tell us it's 2 million per charge. We didn't get back that much, but we got back a significant amount. You guys can email us for the 1099 OID. Also for the manufacturer certificate of origin, so you can own the automobile and no longer be subject to the tickets and citations, as well as the do not detain, revamped affidavit, and the IRS status correction and the fraudulent conveyance of language laws, as well as for our book, and to join our online tutor school class. I'd like to start with the scripture here. Um, I would lift up Psalms 121. I would lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Thank you to Tressie Rockmore, um, Horatio Bay, um, Raymond Silva, and to all of you, Copper Aborigines, I True Roots, um, Duran, Tanzanite, and a host of you sharing with us this night. Um, thank you for your research and your comments. Um, all right, so yesterday I made the video about um, who was collecting on the insurance, who was collecting on the insurance for the said, um, situation at hand. And shortly thereafter, it was sent to me a Stay the Duke of Tears video that he created on June the 1st. So we saw it, saw, received it after we created that video. And he was talking about um, who owns these buildings and who's potentially collecting on the insurance. Back in May 17, 2008, George Soros buys AutoZone Incorporated, Walter Industries Incorporated, Foster Wheeler Limited. Apparently, several of the um, initial damaged properties were these auto um, um, buildings, these automotive buildings. George Soros buys AutoZone Incorporated, Walter Industries Incorporated, Foster Wheeler Limited. George Soros owns 411, so 411 stocks with a total value of $2.2 billion. George Soros sold out his holdings in Target. Then it goes on to read, George Soros buys more of Target Corporation, um, World's Collide, City Pages, August 31st, 2011. Um, EH, it probably, it's just business. Soros now owns more than 552,000 shares in Target, about 544,000 of which were bought last quarter. So I thought that was interesting. Um, something else. Somebody reported to us yesterday. Um, peace. I just wanted to say thank you for helping me with the GSA bonds process. The process actually works. And I didn't have any problems with any of the paperwork. So I discharged my auto car, auto loan and are mailing their mailing. And they're mailing me the title within two weeks. I'm so excited. Um, so I thought that was really great from Devante. Um, they also shared with me something very interesting a moment ago, which I thought was, um, yeah, when I saw it, it was quite, it just makes you wonder, you know? So these are the real parents of these two girls. And see how she looks exactly like her mother. And she looks exactly like her father. 
You can see it right around here. That was quite shocking. All right, so um, all right, so all these um, entities have an EIN number. <clears throat> EINs for the United States Incorporated for Child for Child Corporations. Instead of we the people, it's we the corporations. These are the EIN numbers of various governmental services. I like to add de facto in front of governmental services organization. This shows that every aspect of the criminal um, United States slavery system, look at how the United States is written, it's all capital letters, is an own in its own um, corporate, is its own corporate entity, governmental EINs. Now it goes on to read, amazingly we find that the United States has incorporated multiple times that the White, the White House, House of Representatives, Congress, and Judiciary are separate corporations with their own EINs and that the Treasury from 1789 is not the same as the current Treasury. E pluris unum, um, the United States of America, AG 598804648A, the only non EIN found via UCC file documents. United States Incorporated 52 1943749, United States. So there's several different United States. There's a United States um, 52 dash two two eight three one seven nine and there's a United States of America two of them actually five two dash one two five nine nine seven four and another one seven seven two zero five dash seven two dash zero five six four eight three four then the White House has one five two dash one forty one three five seven five now um, when you scroll down here, you'll see that all the secret societies also have one. Um, you have one for the United States Coast Guard, the Department of State, the Department, United States Department of Navy, United States Department of um, Army, the National Institute for Health, 52 2102558. Center for Disease Control is 04-379-7580. The Postal Service is 52-153-5613. Commonwealth of Australia, 13-317-1852. It says here, um, only Kentucky, Massachusetts, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Northern Mariana Islands, and Puerto Rico are actual commonwealths in the United States incorporated. The others, such as New Jersey and Florida, are not supposed to be commonwealth and require more investigation. Puerto Rico's um, Commonwealth um, of Puerto Rico is 13 2941 And then all the Federal Reserve Systems, um, Federal Reserve Incorporated, Frisco, Texas, or TX, 80-0153784. Naples, Florida, Federal Reserve Holdings, LLC, Naples, Florida, 27-07. 86194. The Federal Reserve Club of New York or NY 13 61 NY 13 7548. Keep in mind, it looks like a lot of these, if not all, are owned by, claimed to be owned by the Pazer Trust Company, right? Trust um, family. The family trust known as Payser, P-A-Y-S-E-U-R, correct? Now it says legal 
largest legal firms and bars, the, the um, EINs operating the unconstitutional slavery system. Bar associations are owned by and operated are owned and operated by Northern Trust. Baker and McKenzie LLP 36-213-7456. Baker and McKenzie Foundation 51-0200280. Latham and Watkins LLP 95-20830. Seven three, Reed Smith LLP two five dash zero seven four nine six three zero, Skaden Arps Slate Meager and Flom, F L O M, P L L C one three seven 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 two three zero, State Bar of California Incorporated nine four dash three one zero four five six. Indiana Bar Foundation 36-6032377, State Bar of Michigan 38-6006823, State Bar of Texas 74-6000148, Federal Bar Association 53-01828821, Corporate EINs, the DTC DTCC is the warehouse for most birth certificates. Travelers is a primary insurance group providing public official bonds for many, if not most, incorporated counties across the United States. The food companies are listed because they conspire with Monsanto to ensure food across the United States incorporated is laden with genetically modified organisms rather than actual food, toxic chemicals, additives, MSG fluoride, um, ETC. The Dunn and Bradstreet Corporation 22-37258-22-37253837, Depository Trust Company Clearinghouse Corporation 13-4086405, Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated, 13-259-2361. Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated, 13-4019-460. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, 13-262-4428. The Bank of New York Mellon Corporation, 13-261-4428. 4959 Bank of America Corporation 56-09-06609 um, Capital One Financial Corporation 54-1719854 Citigroup Incorporated 52-156809 HSBC USA Incorporated 13-2764867, um, the PNC Financial Services Group Incorporated, 25-1435979, the Toronto Dominion Bank TD, 13-5640479, U.S. Bank Incorporated, 41025500, Wells Fargo and Company, 41-0449260 American Bankers Association 52-1000130 American Bankers Insurance Association 52-2062833 that's 52062833 and American Bankers Association there's 1234 five different American Bankers Association and the numbers are 5210001304 the next number is 20-0161441 the next one is 32-0061644 the next one is 59-262665 and the next one is 36189 7980 
they also sent me a video shortly thereafter I created the one we created yesterday that the agent doing business as queen at the castle is no longer there um, in addition to the fact that all the windows are boarded up the guards are changed out and all the emblems on emblems on the gates are gone travelers insurance um, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different um, travelers insurance um, EIN numbers. Monsanto Company, four three dash one eight seven eight two nine seven. General Mills Incorporated, four one dash zero two seven four 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 zero. Kraft Heinz Food Incorporated. 52-228-4372 PepsiCo Incorporated 13-158-4302 The Dow Chemical, Chemical Company 38-1285128 AT&T Incorporated 43-1301833 dash one three zero one eight three three one eight sorry 1883 Let me read that again AT&T Incorporated is 43 Dash one three zero 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 one eight eight three International Organizations EIN number the International Monetary Fund There is one two three four five six different numbers the International Monetary Fund has um, slightly different names except for two 91, um, this is the International Monetary Fund, all caps, 91-99-79-79483, um, the next International Monetary Fund number is 52-1323-228, International Monetary Fund Incorporated, 59-328-3287, International Monetary Fund Corporation, Two zero dash three three four seven nine six eight International Monetary um, Forex Incorporated two zero dash four six four eight nine six International Monetary Group Incorporated six five zero seven eight four five nine seven Secret Societies and Cults EIN numbers not so secret many upper echelon politicians attorneys, bankers, and elite are members of these organizations. John Kerry, George H.W. Bush, George W. Bush, and known are known Skull and Bones members, Scient Scientology members, sign billion-year con billion contracts. Skull and Bones Incorporated number is 20-504-8779. Seven five zero nine Skull and Bones, no Skull and Crossbones in LLC is two zero dash four six five nine eight nine nine Scottish Rite Foundation of the District of Columbia Incorporated is five two dash one one four four nine 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 Scottish Rite Foundation Southern D Jurisdiction USA Incorporated is fifty two dash Six zero five four seven three seven Scottish Rite Research Society fifty two dash one seven three seven zero three five Scottish Rite Temple um five two dash zero zero two seven um two nine three Rosicrucian Center Tux Tuscan Tux Tuxin um, 23-704-7513 Rosicution Fellowship Pas Pasadena, Pasadena Center 95-375-2756 Rosicution Fellowship Las Vegas 88-0175543 Rosicution Fellowship 95-185-5670 Rosicution Order um, LA LOD 95-613-4231 Rosicution Order 94-115-6620 
Rosicrucian Order 02-0690772, Rosicrucian Order of the Hermetic Gold and Rose Cross 68-0664246, and Rosicution Order Amrock 04605-4361. Rosicution Order 75286662663. Rosicution Order Amrock 93-121-0115. Rosicution Amrock Temple of Boston Incorporated, the T-H-E. Um, all capital um, letters 04-605-4361. And then the Scientology and Dianetics Church, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 11 different branches or different corporations. Scientology and Dianetics Church is 84 1, 2, 4, 3, 4. 9-8, Scientology Mission of Boulder, 84-0700610, Scientology International um, Reserves, the first one, the Scientology and Dianetics has an underline, Scientology International Reserves, TR, 98-6041576, Scientology Missions International 95-373-9098, Scientology Church of Orlando 59-215-3243, Scientology Orlando Incorporated 59-149-3679, Scientology Church of Sacramento 94-2274-298. Scientology Church of Baton Rouge, 72-110-4649. Scientology Church Church of New Haven, 0610773361. And Scientology Bookstore, 3860878810. Scientology Dianetics of New Jersey, 36-434-9863. All right, it's also been reported to us that Bill Gates, there's now an indictment out for him as well, and he's hired the white dragons, the Chinese, to protect him for some strange reason. I don't see why he needs protection from the people that he tried to commit genocide on. Um, so now we're waiting for George Soros to be rounded up for treason and genocide, and also for Hillary Clinton to be um, charged for treason and genocide. And the rest of them. Um, the many sovereign city states, Vatican City, City of London, when Westminster, DC, United, um, UN, New York City, CERN, Monaco, Geneva, Sing Sing Singapore, and the world. Generally, it is discussed among the knowledge, the knowledgeable that the Vatican City, City of London, and Washington, DC were sovereign city states. These city states essentially own the world by uninformed, or sorry, uniformed, uniformed, no, uninformed consent and franchises. They are other, there are other city-states and their, um, and they're just as important as these three. The handful of city-states are the United Nations, CERN, Republic and Canton of Geneva, Monaco, Singapore, World, and several other lesser important cities, states for this discussion, that is. The Vatican City owned the earth, all property, all humans, and all spirit through its posted and recorded magical papal bulls. It gained city-statehood through an international treaty with the fascist Benito Mussolini for the Vatican support of Hitler's Nazi regime. When the Roman Empire fell, Vatican City became the head of state of the newly adopted Holy Roman Empire Incorporated. The Roman Empire lived in the Vatican's to the Vatican's and the Vatican funded um, the Roman Empire 
um, through their assets and debt franchises mechanisms such as the Roman Empire was financially obligated to the Vatican. When the Roman Empire fell, it was taken over by its creditor. The Vatican City, the Vatican City existed as a bankrupt Roman Empire in trust. This is an important model for how the UN has taken over all countries. In 1214, the Vatican essentially gained France from England by King John's contractual failure with the Vatican. The Vatican moved to France in 1309 with the new French elected Pope creating um, something Papin's papacy. This proves ownership of France in trust. The Vatican was moved back to Italy in 1377. The Avignon Papacy was the reason why apostille certificate of authentications are required to have a French version or in the native language to deal with the sovereign uprising in the 12th and 13th century with Vatican City issued the following papal bulls. 1302, Pope Boniface Unum Sanctum. Furthermore, we declare, we proclaim, we define that is absolutely necessary for the salvation that every human creature be subject to the Roman pontiff. It was the first express trust deed. It claimed um, the whole planet and everything as dead hologram on it, conveyed in trust by to the right hand of the God incorporated. The Vatican City, France was conveyed this way before the Avion Papacy 1309. All land was claimed um, by in 1455 um, by Pope Nicholas. Um, Crown land, the first private Saskatoon v. constructive testament, testament, testamentary ter- um, trust, deceased estate through deed and will, created when a child was born, depriving him of all private beneficial entitlements and private rights on from the land lost at sea of commerce after the statutory age of seven. This was the last will and testament for the holographic death. In 1481, Spain, the second public TV trust created when children were born and by the sale of the birth certificate as a public bond to that you guys go and get your certificate of life birth from this um, vital t- statistics and then go on the GMEI website to see who's trading on the social security number, right? Then you write to the United States Federal Trade Commission Antitrust Department for Identity Theft and have them remove all those entities that are trading on it. As a Holy Roman person or a slave person to the perpetual serv- servitude This claimed all physical bodies that incarnated into the dead earth hologram. 1537, Pope, the third crown of ecclesiastical see created when children were baptized. It was the parents' grant of the baptismal certificate title to the soul, to the church, and or um, the registrar. Thus, without legal title over one's own, own soul, we will be denied legal standing and will be treated as things, cargo without souls, upon which the bar is, was legally able to enforce maritime law. It claimed ownership over all the souls lost at sea that incarnated into, incarnated into the dead earth hologram. The third crown was secretly granted to England, possibly as early as the 1550s for the split in the English church, um, in the collection and reaping of lost souls, all being beings on the dead holographic earth, the Commonwealth Crown Corporation under the monarch was lost again in 1816 in the deliberate bankruptcy of England um, uh, and granted to the Templar granted to the temple bar, which became known as the crown bar, or simply the crown. The third crown, the bar associations have since been responsible for administering and reaping of the souls. Um, uh, 
reaping of the souls of the lost and damned, such as the registration and collection of the baptismal certificates representing the souls collected by the Vatican City and stored in the vaults. Wow, the, pa the papal bulls have a very long, strong, long story in and of themselves, control was issued, transferred, bought, etc., etc. Pope Francis was one of the head Jesuits controlling the planet with his buddies in Geneva, in the Geneva city. The Vatican has given, had given international religious messages, messaging services duties to France via the Hague Convention of 1961, abolishing the requirements for legalization of foreign public documents. The Vatican City um, is not the Holy See. Indeed, the Holy See is across the street from the Vatican City. The legal fictional Vatican, Vatican City only runs the non-legal Holy See. The Vatican City tries to control all of the spirituality on the dead hologram earth via trust franchise. It was a premier spiritual head of hell on earth. City of London. The City of London Corporation was the Temple Bar Crown Corporation. The City of London was the business face of the Crown Corporation, Third Vatican Crown. The UK monarch only operate the local slavery um, fiefdom, fiefdom of Commonwealth members from the City of Westminster, such as Canada, Australia, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, etc. The UK Commonwealth system was precursor to the United Nations. The City of London gained control over reaping lost souls in 1816 from the UK monarchy. monarchy. City of Westminster, the City of London came about via the Magna Carta 1213. All right, the Emergency Banking Relief Act, March 9th, 1933, defined the American people as the enemy legally of the United States governments because of the U.S. bankruptcy through which the private international Federal Reserve System became the government creditor of the United States. So that means the Payser Family Trust, P-A-Y-S-E-U-R. You guys just heard us read recently on our last videos. Go back to older videos for all this information and stuff, right? Are claiming to be the government for the United States. If that, if I'm reading this correctly, they're claiming to be um, the creditor for the United States, of the United States, which means without the United States. The second 13 Amendment, enduring the first 13 Amendments, was a part of and parcel of the bar attorney fraud. They seem to just ignore laws and events that they don't like. The, se the second 13th Amendment abolished slavery by making slavery non-discriminatory and ubiqu ubiquitous as federal, federal United States citizens, all capital letters. Slavery became the default state for the U.S. federal citizens. It unified all artificial legal persons issued by state, corporate, franchises into and under the federal U.S. citizens, artificial persons. There was no way to be a state citizen without first being a federal citizen, artificial person. The bankrupt United States Federal Federated Corporation took over the state and the South um, through such measures. In essence, In essence, the North took possession of all the legal presences in the South by the Second Constitutional 13th Amendment in 1865. The original 13th Constitutional Amendment from 1819 banned all attorneys from public office. Um, Abraham Lincoln would have been banned from, pre from the presidency. Being a bar attorney and the original 13th Amendment halting all our attorneys from holding office. In 1871, the District of Columbia Act created a new corporation overlay with a constitution similar to the original, but not the original. This was how the Constitution for the USA, look at, 
It's a small u, capital S, small a, became the constitution of. Of means without. So it's, it reads constitution without the U.S. Constitution, all capital letters, constitution of the U.S. And you see how the of is written in, in italics. Since then, the de facto corporation has usurped the prior history of the legitimate de, de jure United States, calling it their own to give themselves the appearance of legitimacy. Mm. The 1871 incorporation of the federal United States followed the states themselves incorporating throughout the 1800s from the um, unincorporated te territories to incorporated state corporations. The 1871 um, incorporated United States was not a de jure legitimate government of by the people of and by the people. The 1871 U.S. Federal Incorporation was needed to federate and unify the state incorporations, a more perfect union. The incorporated government changed several times following its incorporation in 1871. 1874 it became dictatorship run by three governors rather than a president with Congress and a judicial branch. D.C. never had federal voting rights as it was never incorporated as a federated United States incorporated state. In 1913, the third American central bank called the Federal Reserve came into the scene and bankrupted the nation with 20, within 20 years. The 1933 FDR, Federal um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, or the, maybe that's a different FDR, signed the emergency bankruptcy Bankruptcy, bankruptcy Act, which turned over the incorporated U.S. to its creditors, ultimately Vatican City. Um, that is why the Federal Reserve notes and the House representatives say, in God we trust, statutory law through UCC was then implemented to manage the U.S. bankruptcy in per perpetuity. Statutory law is a bastardization of admir admiralty law. Um, no court cases may be legitimately referred, referenced prior to 1938. An Erie Railroad Company versus Tompkins statutory law was entirely new and without any set up in legal precedents. All right, to recap, common law under King's rule was established by constitution. Color of law, common law. When you guys see color of law, that means that it's fiction. It's a legal fiction. It's not real. It's false. It's a lie. Color of law, common law was brought in via mission creep um, from 1800 to 1871. In 1871, corporate um, color of law was enshrined by de facto D.C. incorporation via D.C. Act of 1871, where the first constitution is organic. The second constitution is literally the corporate constitution. Yes, corporations have their own U.S. constitution from 1871. Human beings were given corp corporate hood via corporate personhood. When they call you a person, we did a whole thing about that and Federation of State Persons under the U.S. Governmental Corporation. The legal presence corporate overlay went into effect and with birth certificates through the Shepherd Towner Maternity Hygiene Act of, 18, of 1921 that makes financial securities out of children. The act has since been superseded. The Uniform Commercial Code has definitive slavery in making human beings into chattel. Human chattel is defined as um, slavery, um, yet birth certificates make persons and it uses UCC to do it. The 1938 implementation of um, bankruptcy statutory code allowed the human chattel via legal presence to go into hyperdrive. UCC became ubiquitous among the states. UCC would be best considered color of law over color of law. During the 1800s, various forms 
of law were being developed in Louisiana, for instance, um, was a Neopolitanic code state. However, even the incorporated color of law Neapolitanic Code of Louisiana was superseded by the UCC Slave Code in the 18, early, early 1900s. By 1938, statutory slavery was fully established across America. The UCC control over U.S. citizens' legal presences um, was very short-lived, as after World War II, all nations were taken over by the United Nations, um, in 1948, the United States authority still comes from the Vatican. The Vatican City controls Washington, D.C. As evidence that the Vatican controls the United States and the Rothschild Central Bank, um, the Federal Reserve, the um, Federal Reserve note states very clearly, in God we trust, which is better defined as in the Vatican City, we a state person, corporation, franchises. The statutory control mechanisms of 1938 lasted until 1948. The United Nations created the Un United um, UN Universal Declaration on Human Rights. The United um, States District of Columbia Mun Municipal Corporations tries to control war murder power franchise they also attempted to control the magic franchise the magic franchise of the military franchise despite obvious um, magic conflicts with the church and the state or the, the vatican state sorry um all right so this goes on and on and on um attention all international authorities globally the Federal Bureau Investigations heads, the Fraud Department heads, Interpol heads, Donald Trump doing business as president, um, the Army, the Navy, the military heads, and all that is good globally. I come to you in one's proper person in good faith. I come to you in good faith. I stand my ground in one's proper person as a living flesh and blood sentient being Suri Juris Suri Eris, heir to the world's vast estate. Go now, I command, order, demand, and require you now to go now and look at the, um, the message we just received in the um, for the YouTube videos. Go now and make sure that the judges are um, free. In addition to that, um, go now and shut down the um, Vatican and also the United Nations Corrupt Corporations and the Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization and any other corrupt um, National Institute of Health and the Department of Defense corrupt corporations that have stolen the people's birthright, um, have stolen their nationality and have um, claimed the people are lost at sea and have stolen their wealth and their private properties. See to it that all the um, finances, profits generated from these corrupt organizations and others in China globally and, and globally. Go now and return all those funds back to the people globally and um, yeah, collect all the profits generated from the Pazer Trust and those collecting in France and stuff and those who are claiming dominion in Switzerland. Go and round up all those funds now. Um, return them back to the people this night. See to it the people are set free um, globally for nonviolent offenses and um, yeah, and some of them that have some violent offenses go and investigate what they were for and if they are um, commendable and um, required, then set them free. Now, the agents doing business for police chiefs, you're going to have to round them up and um, those ones that are in the office doing business as police were told that they might all be corrupt. If so, go and investigate if that's true. If so, then you'll have to know what to do. Um, go to the angel gods beside you to give you some direction there. And so you'll be able to operate properly. We're told that in France, the people are rising up over there as well, too. And even those rising up over in the Americas are doing it for various reasons. So um, with the secret societies instigating the stuff, go and shut them down and then return those finances and stuff. Use the EIN numbers um, with the Internal Revenue Service at 1111 Constitution Avenue, um, 
go to the heads at the criminal investigations division at the Internal Revenue Service and get them to assist you um, if they're honorable. If not, shut them down. And, um, yeah, see to it that the judge's orders stand for the Moorish American consulates and all the Moors globally who are listed as Moorish American nationals and all of us who are also know that we have been, um, we are American Indians, Moorish American nationals as the Reubenite tribe chiefs and all the other um, chiefs um, that are honorable and are Moors globally. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Noble Honorable Ange L. Ina D. Alfred L. Reubenite tribe chief, American Indian, a lodial title, American Indian, Moorish American National Maroon. Um, go now and see to it that the maroon status is put a blanket over the people here in this territory known as Jamaica. Um, also those that have been miseducated in the rest of the so-called Caribbean that are Moors. Um, yeah, see to it now they have access to their nationality. Those of you who are Moors, go to rvbaypublications.com to claim your Moorish nationality identification cards. We're also told you can go to L.A. Lewis. I don't know L.A. Lewis personally, people, so you have to just do your due diligence there, okay? We have put the number in the last video for you to go and call the chief there to find out what's required and just ask questions, okay? Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. by Noble Honorable Ange Elinity Alfred L. Reubenite Tribe Chief, Elodial Title, um, American Indian Maroon, Moorish American National, UCC, 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased husband, Jackson. All right, so, um, yeah. So this is a whole host of stuff. You guys can write to us for this fraudulent conveyance of language document here. It's fraudulent conveyance of language. It's bank fraud, double dipping, um, identity theft. Also, um, Donald Trump and the rest Go now and shut down this corrupt corporation claiming to be CERN, C-E-R-N, who has stolen the wealth of the people and this Bilderberg Corporation group. Go now and have those funds um, sent back to the people as well, too. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alfred L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, the Tile Moorish American National, and see to it that all the stuff the judges put in place for all of us prior stands as law, truth, fact, unrebutted. Stands as law, truth, fact, unrebutted. Stands as law, truth, fact, unrebutted. Because notice to agent is notice to principal, and notice to principal is notice to agent to all agents, on his, all heirs and assigns. And all this stuff going on in Switzerland and Geneva, um, have those funds um, sent back to the people as well. Switzerland contains a central bank of central banks, the Bank for International Settl Settlements. Um, yeah, they also have the Federal Intelligence Services. It's a secret agency of the secret agencies, um, and they might have had a hand in 9-11, going investigate if that's true. If so, charge them for treason and genocide too. And then, um, yeah, Geneva seems to be controlled by Jesuits. Round up all the Jesuits this night and um, charge them for treason and genocide, right? Just like the Vatican in the 2017 um, by Jesuit Pope Francis, Geneva could be considered an equal to the Crown Corporation and the Vatican for their sovereign nature. Switzerland controls a republic franchise in many regards. Monaco. Monaco was briefly occupied by Napoleon, Hitler, and Mussolini. Monaco's sovereignty was recognized by, um, yeah, see what's going on over there in Monaco, and if they have funds for the people, send it back. Um, yeah. Now, we're reading this, and it looks like there's two different United Nations. There's a UN and member nations, there's a, there's a United Nations. All the corrupt ones shut them down.
and it was reported to us. I think it was a Sir the Duke of Tears that was showing us the pictures that um, I want to say Calvin Coolidge and was the Rothschilds were one of the same, um, if not the same person, um, claiming to run the United States Corporation. Um, yeah, we don't um, recommend this world passport. There was some um, celebrity that had used the world passport and got themselves in some kind of hot water. So, you guys go and claim your nationality. Go to rvbaypublications.com for that. Um, those of you who are um, in need of the, if you have tickets or citations, mortgages, foreclosures, you can do, you can contact us here for the GSA bonds to, um, yeah, for the GSA bonds to set off the matter and then do the 1099 OID, um, get your house in order, claim your proper nationality. Um, contact us for the manufacturer certificate of origin so you own the automobile from the state and are no longer subject to tickets and citations and then do the IRS status correction um, until any of these corrupt organizations are um, operating properly or shut down and then um, do the um, Get the certificate of live birth. Go do that now at the Vital Statistics. And then go to the GMEI website and do the um, Affidavit for Identity Theft to the United States Federal Trade Commission Antitrust Department and the Federal Bureau Investigations Deputies and also to any other head um, agent doing business as governor. That means that there's only two or three governors in play. All the other ones are actors, eh? So, um, yeah, and we don't even know who the proper governors are, so send that information to us so we'll know who to serve properly and stuff. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. All international authorities that we wrote to earlier, put that on top of it. All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Remember to support us here. Go to PayPal at themullingsatgmail.com. Like, share, subscribe these videos. Tono no kota rakai na na hai taka ni na na kodi ni na na kai ne e e ni ta rakai toro hoi taka ra no 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 koi e na na ki ta rakoi na na ka ta ko ni ta kai na no ko na ra kai ta ka no to ko ina la kai ne ne kai na no no ko ina la ta ka no o ta rakai the information in the Vatican that is 18 miles long that is the um, library that the Moors, the original indigenous people created all those artifacts and all those books. See to it now that we have access to every single thing that is in that library, whether you put it online or it's already online. See to it now the heirs and nationals have access to all of it so they can, um, yeah, reconnect to their ancestral heritage properly. Um, all the secrets that are kept down in that basement in that those 18 miles see to it now that the people have access to that properly um, we were told that Jefferson had taken out an insurance on um, the Library of Congress prior, prior to him burning it down just like this these agents took out these insurances prior to all this destruction go now and round up all those insurances that they've collected and taken out and send it back to the people properly mm, and restore the planet. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. Set free the judges this night. Set free the judges this night. Set free the judges this night. And then you're going to round up all the heads that were responsible for all the bribes and all the actors globally. Return those funds to the people globally. We was reported to us that they tried to bribe the Madagascar agent over there. Um, they wanted him to taint the, um, the cure the organic cure that they had available to the people. Um, so you're going to have to round up that agent doing business as Bill Gates this night 
irrespective of the so-called bodyguards that are around him by the grace of God. Just speak to the angels and the gods before, and they will guide your steps. Speak to the angels and the gods beside you, and they will guide your steps. Speak with the angels and the gods beside you. They will guide your steps.